Yo, Diomedes Industries here with another one take tutorial. I'm going to be showing you guys how to change a blade quickly on a strap cutter. This is a strap cutter you can get from Tandy or Weaver or any other suppliers. It's made of hardwood oak. This one's about 10 years old. When I got it, I sanded it down and finished it. Other than that, I haven't really touched it. <clears throat> and as far as I understand, this is about as good as it gets in terms of strap cutters. Um, in terms of price and, and ease of use and things like that. But one of the things that can be a pain in the congilies is to uh, change the blade on this. You loosen up these two screws on the back, and you can do that with a Phillips head or a flat head. Um, but then how do you get the blade out? It's got these two little holes, but they are almost always buried in the wood there. And so what, how do you, what do you do? What I have found works best is to simply take the new blade that you've got and insert it from the outside into that slot, which will push out the old blade enough to grab a hold of. And then you sometimes have to guide it with the screwdriver. You push the new blade in, and it has to go in straight. It will run into those screws. Push the new blade in. And then quickly tighten down these screws and viola, you are done. Changed. You might have thought of that already. And if you did, you are smarter than I am. <laughs> but uh, I wanted to pass that along and hope that that helps somebody. Remember, www.diomedesindustries, D-I-O-M-E-D-E-S, industries.com. And uh, we'll see you soon.